Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here, coming at you with another episode of Be a GM Carolina Hurricanes. Alright, this is our final episode here of the uh, Marathon Day. I'd like to thank everybody who voted for the uh, Marathon Day thing. I really didn't expect to get the Be a GM as the most popular one, but uh, it was. I thought it was going to be a shootout, to be completely honest. Uh, but it was. And I'm sorry I couldn't take as much input from you guys as I'd like, but with the Marathon thing, there's really not much time for me to post and then watch. So... Uh, it's pretty much all in a row of me going at it and you guys enjoying the ride. Sorry we couldn't deliver a Stanley Cup in it. That would have been pretty fucking insane. Uh, but for now, we'll just have to deal with what we got. And we're going to have to go through the uh, NHL entry draft. So let's go up to the day before. The day before the draft. Uh, players are going to get better here. I should actually have stopped it. I forgot. Because so we're going to go to retirement right now. Hold on. Let's see. Who did we lose in Carolina? Nobody. Uh, anybody big? Solani's gone. Uh, who else is gone? Hal Gill's gone. Fisher's gone. Patrick Eliash. Wade Redden. Phillips. Kronger. Or Prong, Kronger. Pronger. Gonchar. Danny Breer is gone. Cook. Nick Antropov retired. Yager's finally gone. Roman Hammerlick, former first overall pick. How about goaltenders? Kiprasov's gone. Thomas is gone. Yep. A lot of guys are gone. Fokun. Garan. Habibulin. Yeah, a lot of guys ended up retiring. A lot of guys ended up retiring that year. Broder. There's your big one right there. I don't know if I said it yet, but Broder is gone. 1,300 games played. My God. Good career for him. Um, I am going to stop. I'm going to hit yes so that I don't have to, have to do it. Let's go to... Um, GM tracker and see if we can add anything to the assistant coach. No, but I will add to our For now, I think I'll add to our pro scout. Yeah, I'll add to our pro scout because we're gonna have some trades pro trades coming uh, Let's go up to the day before the draft So they're saying Mark Olivier Wah, Ryan Kelly, Andrew Tessier, Daniel Cotton and Colby Cave I really hope and no offense. I really hope Daniel Cotton is white. Just saying. If he's anything else, well, you know what I mean. That'd be terrible. And that'd be a terribly, terrible random generated player if that is random. Um, I'm going to put on the trade block here. Let's see what they recommend first off. And then uh, our players. Our first round pick is not in question. Uh, Ryan Murphy is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Cam Ward up there. And see if we generate some interest. He had a good playoff, but I think we could definitely use with having a little bit better Cam Ward. There you are. Okay. And he's dropped to an 86 overall now from an 88. So I think it's time to get rid of Cam Ward. Look at his value. Fuck. Should tr he's down to a starter. I should have traded him while I had the goddamn chance. Ah! Now we're in trouble. Now we're in... Can it get worse? Could it possibly get any worse? Should have fucking traded that sack of shit. Okay. Scouting. Uh, scouting report is what you want. Let's see who the top five are. Look at this. One five, four and a half star player in Aaron Ekblad. Fine. Sam Reinhardt is only four stars and he's second ranked player. And then we got Vertanen. And you got a whole bunch of other jerk offs down here. Like, look at this. Three star players in the top ten. Are you fucking kidding me? How many four and a half star players are there? Probably like two. Or how many three and a half star players are there? Not many. Not many. I don't know what row this is, but not many. The only one worth any anything, really, is Ekblad and Reinhardt. That's it. And Vertanen. And then there's a goalie. Uh, he's a four and a half star goalie. Fred Lee. Ooh. 20 years old. Damn. That's an old guy. Either way. Either way, we're not going to be drafting him, so it's not a big deal. But there's nothing left in value. So I don't understand how the, the scout thought that this was going to be a good year for goddamn rookies. It's a shit year for rookies. It's shit. We need to get rid of freaking Cam Ward. We need to get rid of this prick. Offload this pile of shit. I don't know that I should do it at the draft. I don't think I have time to do it at the draft. Because look at his value. It's just going to be shit now. Where's goalies? Where's goalies? Oh, Cam Ward, you 
pile of fucking monkey shit. You're overpaid! Boston. What's Rask? He's maxed out at 86. Oh, thank God I didn't trade for him either. Uh, what about Montreal? Really quickly, Montreal, where are you? They've got too much of a cap issue right now. Oh, God, Carey Price is so good. He's a goddamn 90. I want Carey Price so bad. Okay, I don't think this is the time to be making the trade. So, and I don't want that first pick. I don't need it. I'm not going to trade for anybody right now. Let's just draft what we can. Oh, there's a couple of players. There's a couple of players that are three and a half star. Couple half. There's one half star player. All right, so we got. There's a few left that are still three and a half star. So we're gonna take the top one here for sure. Dvorak. Holy shit! Six foot eight, two thirty two. Yeah, he's gonna have some value. I'll take Dominic Dvorak. That guy's a beast. I love the big players like that. It's so funny. I find it hilarious. Okay. All right, so let's continue here. Nope, I'm not proposing any trades. Not during the second round, that's for sure. I'm just going to pick my player. That was weird. Okay, so Ho Sang is still available. Cooper. Palmer. Ho Sang is way, way too small at 151. I can't put a player like that out there. So we basically got Riley Whittingham. Oliver Cooper. Or Jack Palmer. And they're all two-way forwards except for Ho Sang. Any goalies left with any potential at all? Yeah, we got a couple. Julio Bilia and uh, Desky. They're both... They're looking to go in the second and slash third round. Well... I think skaters have more value typically. Well, goalies have pretty good value too. We're almost out of goalie prospects spots, though. So let's just pick up... Uh, who do I think is going to be the best? I think this guy will probably be our best bet. Uh, we didn't scout him at all, though. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, so we know you're, we don't have a very good idea of Palmer. We have a... Ho Sang's got some good numbers in acceleration. But it's, it's, in, it's very inaccurate. Um... And we don't have much information on any of these guys, to be completely honest. Stamkos? John Stamkos? Um, I'm considering Ho Sang because he's got some 90s in the the not accurate spot. And because I think he's actually projected to go de at a decent level in 2014. I know he's small. But playmakers tend to have better value than 2 way forwards. So let's do the playmaker. In Ho Sang, whatever. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps bringing. Look at this. How am I supposed to make a trade here? The the deadline's already started. I don't understand why it's doing that. Okay. Um. Anybody with any value left? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. So everybody's gone. Any goalies left with value? Probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. There's no one. So I'm not even gonna bother with goalies there. Uh, so we end up getting a few, a couple players. That's not bad. Anybody with some size that we can pick up? Like sometimes you get. Oh, here's six foot six, two fifty one power forward, Vyshlev Sadikov. Sadikov. It's an unfortunate name. I think we'll be taking him. He's pretty big. All right, let's do that. Let's do that, big dude. Where is he? Sadikov. There you are. Six six, two fifty one. Yeah, come here. All right. Quick sim. Oh, it's because I'm quick simming. At that point, right when it's loading, and that like throws it off, I think. So we'll pick one more player here, and then I'm gonna auto draft the rest because these little guys are all shit. Any two star players left? Yeah, there's a few. Anybody with size? Oh, five seven. He's tiny. Six six two forty five. Tough guy. Rod Rodney Odeline. Uh, and then we're down to the anybody with. 6'4", 197, power forward. I just like drafting big guys with my last bit. I think it's funny. Or like guys with obscene sizes, like really small. Like I've seen 5'1 come through here before. It happens. Let's do you. A big winger. Yes, auto draft. I don't care anymore. 
So we're in trouble. I feel like we're in trouble now. We have goaltending issue. Okay, let's go and sign players. Let's figure out where we are on the salary cap. We knew we had $24 million to spend, but we have some players that we need to sign. Like Gabriel Landeskog is going to need a contract. Uh, no, I don't want you to explain RFA to me. I know what it is. Thank you. Uh, so let's take a look at our centers first. See who got better. So Eric Stahl's the same. Jordan Stahl's the same. Oliver's the same at 83. So we're going to probably have to re-sign him. Stoll stayed the same. Hansel stayed the same. McClement stayed the same. Dalpy went up by three. Welsh dropped? Is that right? No? Okay, maybe he was a 77 before. Watson went up. He's now a 77, and they've got him as a fourth line forward. Um, we'll have to see. He didn't come up as quick as I'd like. And Zigam... Oh, Zigamanis. I'm like, holy shit. Gergensons. He's only a 69 still? Oh, my God. He's, his progression is slow as hell. What's going on with him? I'll give you top line minutes, buddy. Uh, Rask we still have in the fold. Who's going to need... Well, a lot of these guys are going to need contracts. Like, Wat, no, Wat, not Watson's okay. But some of these other guys... Um, so what, we need to re-sign Oliver, I think. What does he want? Well, we only got 14 million, too. He wants 3.7. Okay, so we're gonna leave him for now. Uh, Landeskog, he went up one. Uh, so he's an 86, but so is Skinner. What's Yakupov at? 86 as well. Okay. So what do they got him as a second line? Second line power forward. They'll probably have Yakupov as a first, because he's a playmaker. Yeah. Playmakers tend to level up get that first line status before power forward does so it's nice because then i can put landeskog on that second line um he doesn't need a contract we need him and terry's looking for what 3.3 any of our defense need contracts del zoto right four so we got 14 million dollars and fame 1.8 that's not a bad price for fame actually to be honest and Sanguinetti went up a bit. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. What did... Uh, I didn't even look at our defenseman's overalls. Ekman Larson is an 86. Stahl's done at an 87. Really? Really? Interesting. Okay. But we've got two top two defensemen, right? No, no. Ekman Larson's still an 86. How is this possible? What's going on with our team? Um, anyway. But Yakupov did go up four overall. So that's nice. I like that. Um... I think our most important sign here right now is uh, Landeskog, so let's give him a contract. And he wants four, almost $5 million. I can't give you that. Uh, we got three years left. I can give you that for four. If you take four years, or three years at four million, you'd be with us for good. So let's do that with Landeskog, okay? Uh, what do they got him as a second line player? A second line player, but you'll be playing the third line. I can guarantee it. He's got some offensive ability, though. Chris Terry does. Um, I think our next big sign would be uh, Del Zotto. So we'll do Del Zotto next. Or Del Zotto, sorry. I keep messing that up, guys. I'm sorry. Three years. Let's give him his four years. I don't care. And we'll do you at... We'll give him four as well. So that'll bring us to eight million between those two players. And um, so it's 8 million. And that leaves us with, and it's 14 million, so it leaves us with $6 million to deal other players. So let's give it to Del Zotto. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We're good on that side. We'll, we'll give you a qualifying offer. There you go. Just to keep you in. Have fun. Ho Sang is a 60. Not bad. That's pretty good for a, a rookie, I guess. Um, so we got you. We got you. Now, something we could do. I know Chris Terry is a... What is he, a sniper? He's a playmaker. Chris Terry's a playmaker. And we still have Oliver. He's an 83 second line sniper. He's going to want a lot of money. Look at that slap shot and that wrist shot power. God damn. He's got good wrist shot power. And he's still getting better. Uh, so I think first off... So who else do we need to sign here? Hold on. Uh, so Terry, potentially. Let's go a day. Let's go a day. Let's see who we got. And we still have $8,550,000 if they both sign. I don't think Landisaw is going to sign for anything less than 4.5. But I can afford 4.5. I could give him 4.5. Yeah, he rejected. He, he accepted. So let's negotiate you a new contract. 
And we've got... Uh, I'll give you $4.5 million for three years. Okay. All right. So we've got our defense locked down, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then Fane is six. So that's okay for now. Uh, we're going to sim one more day. And then I'll figure out who I need to sign on this, on this side of things. Okay, so we got Landeskog now, so we got him locked down. So we have $7.15 million to spend. It's going to be close. Um, we could probably sign Stoll. Ugh, we can't sign all these guys. Uh, I want Stoll. The question is, do I want Oliver? I like Oliver because he did put up a lot of goals last year. How many goals did he get? 25 goals? Oh, that was 76 AHL games. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Um, that's a big increase for him. So he had 25 goals. Oops, 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 oops. What the hell's going on here? Okay, so we got 7.15 million. And players I need to re-sign are... Lots. Uh, what is... Uh... Oops, wrong way. What does Stoll want? Remember, these are players that I don't need to re-sign. So Stoll wants too much. I think we should get rid of Stoll for now. Uh, we'll deal with what we got. Hansel... Yeah, he's okay. He can play that fourth line, and I think I'll keep him on that fourth line. McClement. I think Jay's a bigger sign for us. $1.6 million, and I think I can get him for 1.1. Okay, so let's say we can get him, and we could probably get off Oliver, or Oliver. I think we can get him for 3.2, so that's $4 million. So that's $3 million left over. Um, $3 million left over, and Terry... He wants 3.375 as a second line forward. He would be playing the third line. Uh, we would need to find another third line center. And then we're out of cap room, basically, is what happens with that. So now what would happen? Yeah, they want the same thing, right? Okay, so I think our most important sign here is Oliver. So let's sign Oliver. Let's sign Oliver to... He wants 3. Point, let's see if we can get him for 3. Let's see if he agrees to 3. If he agrees to three, good. And then we're done with him. We don't need anything else. So three million dollars. Okay. So that's one. Uh, McClement. I'll see if I can get him for one. Okay, so there's one million dollars. For two years. Okay. And... Uh, I could actually play him on the third line. Or play Dalpy on the third line with somebody. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Because we got some players like Watson, who's a fourth line player right now. Two way forward, fourth line. He could play a wing. Welsh. Third line scoring forward still. You know, we got to sign him. How much does he want? Oh, it's a two way contract for 860. Yeah, okay. We need to probably sign him too. Uh. How many days do we have left here? Hold on. Okay, so let's go up a day and let's see who signs here. I love re-signing. It's like a juggling game. It's like move. It's like a chess game. You're trying to move all your pieces into place without spending too much. Oliver rejects and Jay McClement reject. So you can't go down more than 500,000, I think, is the golden rule on that. Uh, so let's go back to our centers. And he... Oops. Oh, I didn't want to tender a qualifying offer. Hold on. So, 3.2. 3.2 for two years. He wanted two year, three years before. Now he wants two. So, 3.2. And then Jay McClement. Uh, we'll see if he'll go for 1.1. For one year. They drop a year when they do that. Okay, so let's sim another day. I think 500,000 is the most you can cut. And if that seems to be the number, then that's what we'll go with. From now on. So he, he decided to renew. He rejected. Uh, so we've got $4.4 .4 million left. I think Jay McClement isn't as big a sign to us as maybe like a... Oh, he's good. He's got that face-off. I love that face-off. But uh, Jarrett Stoll's face-offs are huge too. Like, But he wants how much? Like 2.8? .8? Yeah, way too much. I cannot afford Jarrett Stoll. Um... So let's do Jay McClement. Let's give him... He wants two years now. 
at 1.62. Let's give him 1.12, 1, 120. Let's see if he'll go for that. Then that's exactly 500,000. Now, Dalpy, I will give you a contract of that. And uh, what do you want, Welsh? Two-way contract for one year. Okay. And uh, Lapierre. That was another one of our players, another grinder. Mm. I think we could honestly play like Watson in there. Well, he's got better offensive awareness. Yeah, he's got better offensive awareness than you do. So you'd be on the short short, short bus there, buddy. And Zach Dalp, he's not bad, really. Not a bad player at all. Uh, so let's simulate another day and let's see if we got everybody we wanted. I should have signed those guys to three years, man. Continue. We're at the contract screen already. So he accepted. Jay McClement rejected. He accepted. So we've got our first line center, our second line center. Our second line winger. Our third line center is going to be gone. So I might as well just release him now because I can't afford him. Um, I think Jay McClement is a very important sign for us just because... We need to get a third line center. That's the problem here. Uh, who else do we have? Terry. I forgot about Terry, too. God damn. He wants 3.5. I think we got enough players that we can re replace Terry. So what I'm going to do is just tender him a qualifying offer. Oops. Tender him a qualifying offer just to qualify him. Uh, I'll release you. I really don't give a shit about you, Chanel. You have no value. Brock McGinn, you can go. You're not worth anything to me. I can sign better players than you. Um, Maxime Lapierre, you're not part of the picture. I have enough players at depth here that I can that I can replace you, no problem. Like, look at all these centermen I have. Centermen I have. I have Welsh, Watson, and if I really wanted to, uh, Dalpy, who can all play in those places. And we've got third line players. Like Dalpy's a third line player. Um, oops, not McClement. Watson is a fourth line player with good defensive awareness. And Welsh is a third line sniper who played last year. Had how many points? 23 points in his first NHL season. That's really good. I would rather have those guys around. And they're really cheap. So I'm just going to get in Jay McClement. He won it once one year. Let's see if we get him for 1.225. Let's see if we go for that. All right, so that's pretty much the last day that we can sign anybody. So let's make sure we got everybody signed that we want. Uh, we'll release you just so that there's no confusion. You're not part of the future. Uh, we'll release you. Okay. And we'll release you. Okay. All right, so that's good there. Uh, we tendered you a qualifying offer. So if you come, it's like $500,000. Um... Mike Brown will release you. We don't need you, Mike Brown. No, we tendered you a qualifying offer. We'll release you. I don't sign my rookies. I don't know if I told you guys this. Like, four-star players. Wasn't he three and a half? They had him at a three and a half star. He's actually a four-star. I didn't know that that could change. Uh, if, you, if you do that with these guys, what you'll often find is um, you can trade them easier if you don't sign them. An unsigned rookie has the same value. Uh, than a signed rookie does, but you can throw him in a trade and you don't have to worry about cap because he's not actually signed. So it's nice. I always try to keep him away. And then Fane. We have to sign Fane. And he wants 1.8 for three years. I will give you 1.3. Because you're capped out. You're a top six defenseman max. So that's a good price for a top six. And then goalies. Peters. We do need to sign a goalie. How much do you want, Peters? He's cheap. He's a cheap goalie, so let's give. Let's see if we can get him for eight, eight fifty. And then Richards, how much do you want for a contract? A two-way contract. I can afford a two-way contract, so we'll give you that. Uh, I really don't care about you. You got terrible potential. All these good goalies here. Okay. So let me make sure that I've got everybody either tendered to qualifying offer that I want. Or they're unsigned. So McClement and Fane, I've offered them. Terry, Stahl, I've tendered. 
And then everybody else here, I'm just leaving unsigned for now. That's right. Okay, good. Let's sit. Let's advance a day and let's see if we got everybody. If not, we'll have to try them at free aid at uh, free agency. See if we can get them. Hopefully, they resign. Because we're gonna have to do something with Cam Ward. That's plain. Uh, Peters took. Fane rejected. McClement rejected. So we might have to look for. Uh, I really like McClement. Okay, continue. I really don't give a shit. Thank you. Um, look at who's available. The free agencies at the third off season is really good. Um, let's see here. But there's a lot of expensive players. We do have four point one seven five right now. Uh, Chris Terry. There's, we're the only team interested in him right now. We'll we'll play. That's a kind of a play that by ear type of thing. Um, so we're looking for a, potentially a top six defenseman. What does Fane want on the open market? He wants 1.9. So he wants 1.9. I I could give that to him. I don't want to. Um, and where is... Uh, can we sort by face? So, sort by face-offs? Why? Where's face-offs? Stick body. Oh, there we are. Sorry. Who's got the highest face-offs out of the group? Probably our... Bo oh, there's a lot of defense. There are a lot of players that... Top five face off. So Jarrett Stoll is the top. Uh, where's where's what they want? Okay, so Zenon Kanopka is a fourth line player. David Stackel is a fourth line player with that kind of potential or kind of uh, face offs. Eighty five. He's not bad. What does McClement want? He's a third line. One point six. So he's still asking for the same thing. Um, and he's got good face offs. And we know we know. Jay McClement. I really like Jay McClement. Uh, Vernon Fiddler. He wants six nine five. Like he's a little bit more affordable. Is anybody in like the like Boyd Gordon, eighty five face offs. Uh, Grinder again. Not as good body checking probably. Uh, yeah, pretty close. Pavelski. He wants five point seven at that position. Uh, Kyle Wellwood, eighty five face offs. He's a depth forward. But he's a playmaker. I don't want Kyle Wellwood in there. Chris Kelly, we know he's got decent face-offs at 83. Um, I would almost take... Okay, well, let's... What's the team interest in Jay McClement? None. So we need to sign McClement, and we need to sign... That's it. So I need McClement, and I'd like another centerman for that line that can actually play... Um, so maybe like uh, Andy, no, Andy McDonald wants too much. That's 3.35. He's got 86 face-offs though. He's pretty good as a playmaker, but I'd rather pick up uh, Jarrett Stoll at that price. Uh, so what we need is another centerman, yeah. We need another centerman. He could be a third-line centerman, Jay McClellan. And we could find like, uh, let's see who... Like a Boyd Gordon for the fourth line at 85 faceoffs, that's pretty good, and he's cheap. So what if we offered? Let's do that then. Let's see how this goes. Let's offer Jay McClellan a contract, one year. Sure, we'll give you your th one year, and then we'll offer Boyd Gordon. Uh, we'll offer him that, and he's cheap, and he's got good faceoffs. He can play that fourth line, not a big deal. Um, let's simulate up to this day, see if anybody signs with us. Getting towards the end of our, our video here. He accepted. They both accepted. Okay, so we've got $3.4 million in cap. Uh, let's go take a look at what we have for potential. Um, Broussard, Terry, and Bork. Uh, I'll give Bork a contract if he wants. We'll give you a contract. Anybody else? Nobody else really has uh, any potential. Oop, goalies. Yeah, there's a couple here. Igor Bobkov. Other teams interested. Anaheim. He's probably then a. I'll give him three years at 925 if he's interested. They'll probably match that, though. 
Uh, Kuzno, don't care about that. Any other skaters with good potential? It's not Derek Brassard. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Um, actually, who the hell was that? He had three-star potential. Where the hell was he? Uh, he was 78 overall. I here he is. Talaha. Face-offs are terrible, though. Yeah, I can't. I can't afford somebody like that on the line. Look at his body checking, though. 99 body checking. Good God. But he's a. He's a. a ha his defensive awareness is good, too. How much would he want? Yo, he wants 1.3. No kidding, you do. Uh, Alexander Johansson, same thing. Good defensive awareness. Tommy Jokinen, fourth line grinder, three-star player. 92 defensive awareness. Somebody had mentioned Tommy Jokinen and getting all the Jokinens together. And he's 77 overall. What was his face-offs? 67. Not enough. But if he wants a two-way contract, he doesn't. Uh, interested in two-way contract, none. But at 975, he could play in the minors if I wanted to. So let's offer him a contract. Um, Christensen. Good defensive awareness, good body checking. How much do you want? 1.785, too much. I would give Tommy Christensen's. Wait, hold on. He's got good sh good shooting. He'd be a good depth player to have. Um, I'd give Tommy Christensen's a contract, but he wouldn't. I couldn't give him more than a million. So if he wants to say no to that, that's fine. But I couldn't give him more than a million. Let's do that. He probably won't take it. So uh, anybody else in here sticks out? Uh, not really. Top six. Oh, we do need a top six defenseman, don't we? Oh, I forgot about my boy. Um, where are you, Fane? Where's Fane? Did he get signed by somebody? Oh, it's right wingers. Whoops. Oh, scared the shit out of me. We need to get Fane. Or a defenseman. Another defenseman that's cheaper. Here you go. Oscar Eklund. He's an offensive defenseman. Well, I could use another offensive defenseman on the top six. He's cheaper. Nobody wants him. He's two years younger than Fane. What's the size difference? There's a size difference, that's for sure. Commissarek wants way less. He's six foot four, two forty three. Defensive defenseman, big body checking, huge. He'd be a good replacement. Um, any two ways? Offensive with potential, not much. Frederick Carlson, defensive. My heart, defensive. Two-way defenseman, but he wants two million. Uh, Jeff Schultz. He's a top six defensive defenseman, and he wants 4.3. That's way too much. Like, we're way up there now with, over, with the cost. Um, I'm thinking potentially Komisarek then. Mike Komisarek or Oscar Eklund. Let's do Komisarek. I, oh, Komisarek's old. Well, 32, three years, it'll be 35. He's good for the fourth line, I guess, but Eklund. You know what? I'm going to go with Eklund. I want that offensive spark on the back end. Let's give him 1.76. I can afford that. Okay. Now we'll sim up a couple days here. We'll sim up to the 10th. Just to get ourselves ahead. The Sedin brothers are available on the market if anybody wants them. And I've signed a few players that kind of have some value. Um... Decided to accept your offer, Igor Bobkov. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate your offer, but decided to go with another team. Really? Troy? Really? Okay. Let's go up another couple days. Uh, they matched it. Of course they would. They don't have to. They don't get anything. Tommy rejected it. <laughs> uh, Oscar Eklund, we got our defenseman. And Tommy Okunen accepted. So... We have some depth now at def at uh, offense that we can plug and play in there and maybe even trade some players. So that's kind of nice. But I'm going to cut it off there, guys. Uh, if you have any other suggestions for trades, maybe something that we can do with Cam Ward. Uh, because obviously there's he's got no value. And I would trade away late first picks for a goalie. Um, so 
you know, that's something we'll look at down the road. But for now, guys, I want to thank you all for taking part in this uh, marathon day. It's been fun for me to do this, to run this through. I'm really sorry we couldn't get a Stanley Cup in it, but we did pretty good. And we finished an entire season in this video, in this video series. So that's pretty good, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, anyway, guys, might be a little bit of a break on GM. You guys are going to be probably pretty bored of it. So... Uh, we'll take a little break on it, but there's always more coming, as always, and uh, I'll have tons more content at you guys soon. For now, I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.